Are your book sales stagnant despite running Amazon ads? It's time for a change. Today, I'll dissect a poorly performing ad and show you how a few actionable steps can turn this ad into a sales powerhouse. This past week, I received an email from a fellow author, an author of children's books, who had run an Amazon ad for a few weeks and she was frustrated because she only had six sales. Now, many times when I troubleshoot ads like this, I find that there is a silver lining, there is a positive in there. And honestly, six sales in a few weeks is slow, but it isn't that bad. When I took a look at the statistics, I found that she had gotten those six sales off of only 34 clicks, and she'd only spent $13 on her ad so far. $13 spent for six orders means she almost certainly is turning a profit, maybe even a healthy profit. The only case where she wouldn't be turning a profit was if her commission on each sale was less than, say, about $2.25 per. But what was the problem then? What was holding that ad back? The first thing that I do when I'm troubleshooting ads like these is I take a look at the number of keywords and the quality of action which is taking place on those keywords. And the first statistic I go to is CTR or click-through rate. Click-through rate refers to clicks divided by impressions. In her case, she had about 200 keywords, but her click-through rate was only about 0.10%. In other words, she's getting a click for every 1,000 impressions that her ad receives. That is a borderline number, and it is very close to the line between acceptable and unacceptable in Amazon's eyes. Now, an Amazon algorithm is constantly taking a look at these CTRs, and for an advertisement which has a very low CTR, Amazon will stop serving impressions to that advertisement. Now, this wasn't the only issue which the advertisement had. Another issue was the advertisement didn't have enough keywords which were pulling in enough impressions and doing so at that quality rate that I talked about, getting clicks for, for your impressions. So I like to see at least two clicks for every 1,000 impressions or a 0 0.20 CTR. So now let's decide how we should troubleshoot this advertisement. Step one, let's get our CTR into shape. My suggestion here is you go through your advertisement and take a look at the lifetime statistics for each keyword. When you find keywords which have received a thousand or more impressions but still haven't received a click, pause those keywords. Just turn them off because they are bringing your CTR down uh, for your ad. This is a classic case of addition by subtraction. By simply turning off the low or no CTR performing keywords, you are raising the overall CTR for your advertisements. Step two, now go through your lifetime statistics and check for keywords which have received clicks, but their CTR is less than 0.10% and the impressions again is a thousand or more for those keywords. When you find these keywords, if they haven't received an order yet, if they haven't actually led to a sale, you should also pause these keywords. They're not helping you. They're actually harming your ad because they are bringing your CTR down and they obviously haven't benefited you in any way by providing a sale. Step three, in this case, we had a very young advertisement, so we weren't likely to find keywords which had a huge amount of clicks, but no sales. Uh, my rule of thumb is once you start getting up around 30 clicks, but no sale, it's time to reconsider whether or not that keyword is worth your while, especially if you are paying a high cost per click or CPC on that keyword. And once you get north of say 40 clicks uh, and 
you're not getting any sales. It really is time to turn off that keyword. All you're doing is spending money and, and wasting money without getting any sales. I do this for keywords which have also resulted in orders. If the click to order ratio is 40 or more, then it's almost certainly a definite pause. It's a definite turn off of that keyword. And for you, you may consider anything above 20. This is a personal choice. Uh, 20 clicks is kind of being the line in the sand where you want to draw that. So this is the next step to go through and ensure that you're not spending money on keywords which are not performing for you. And now the fun part, we go back into our lifetime statistics on our advertisement and we take a look at the keywords which are performing well. And there are easy ways to do this. You could sort your keyword by CTR descending so that we are focusing on the highest CTR keywords. Those are uh, pretty good performers, especially if they have a sale behind them to back that CTR and say, yeah, it is for real. Also, we're gonna be looking at any keywords which are making sales for us and doing so without having to spend too much money to get those sales. Once we have identified what those best performing keywords are, now we want to start brainstorming similar keywords. And this is the fun part because we can take a list of say 40 or 50 real good keywords and just by finding what the commonalities are in those keywords or forming keywords which are similar to those those, which are going to attract the same types of readers, we can easily double or even triple those keywords in a very short period of time. Now, another way that you can quickly add keywords is by operating differently than you had when you were first creating that keyword list. So for instance, in the case of this children's author, she had a lot of keywords which were like, you know, children's books, uh, books for kids, keywords like that over and over and over again. She didn't actually have any author names. So my suggestion to her was to find similar authors in Amazon who write books for a similar age group and write in her style and use those authors as keywords. If if you are like me and you like to use author keywords, then maybe you head in the other direction and you do what she did and you start creating keywords like books for children and whatnot. This is a great way to just expand the possibilities of your thinking and easily increase your keyword count. And again, we could simply take a 50 or 100 keywords and turn them into 200 or even 400 over the course of a week. Weekend. Not all of these keywords will perform up to your expectations. In fact, the vast majority probably won't. Despite our best intentions, despite our research, we often find as authors when we run Amazon ads that, you know, the vast majority of those keywords don't perform up to our expectations. That's just the rule of thumb. However, you're going to get some winners out of every batch of new keywords which you create. So if you can just focus on finding three, maybe before useful performing keywords every single week. Think of what you'll have, say, two or three months from now. After eight to 12 weeks, you will have created an advertisement which is selling far more books than your current advertisement is. So this is like a rinse and repeat. You want to go through each batch of new keywords, find which ones are performing, find which ones aren't performing, turn off the ones which are bringing your CTR down or are getting a lot of clicks but no sales, and then find the new keywords which are performing well, and then brainstorming around those keywords and thinking to yourself, well, can I add some keywords similar to these in my next batch? So don't try to do this all in one day. Don't try to do it all in one weekend. Slow and steady wins the race. If you just focus on slowly building this ad, slowly building your list of good keywords, you are going to have a great high-performing ad in short order.
If you would like more informative lessons like this one, subscribe to my YouTube channel. And I also recommend that you visit me at www.selfpubwriter.com, where I teach authors just like you how to sell more books. In fact, I'll even send you for free a guide to the five steps you need to start selling more books today. That's all for this lesson, and we'll see you on the next one.